Teen Carolina. This is your evening news now. And it's lights, camera, action on Fort Bragg. Military families are using the internet to reach their loved ones who are deployed. We will show you how Operation Best Wishes is keeping them connected. Your News Channel 3. Well, we are a military town, and local military families are talking today about the British decision. Earlier today, some filed into Langley Federal Credit Union and Newport News to take part in Operation Best Wishes and make special internet videos for their loved ones now serving overseas. Newlywed Emily Barlow was just getting used to the idea of being married when her husband John was deployed. Three weeks ago, he left for Qatar with the Air Force First Communications Squadron. Since then, she surrounded herself with her best friends and support system, the Houghton family. We miss you over here. This is John's second deployment, and after Tony Blair's announcement to start bringing home British troops, Emily hopes the U.S. will follow suit. I'm hoping that it will show us that we need to start pulling out too instead of just sending thousands upon thousands more troops there. Robin Houghton knows firsthand what Emily's going through. She's been an Air Force wife for 15 years. She doesn't think the withdrawal of 1,600 British troops will affect the amount of time U.S. troops are overseas. I don't really think it's going to be that much of a difference. Both Emily and Robin agree that their husbands have a job to do and will support them and their mission. You have to, so you might as well want to. You don't always hear it, but there's so much good going on. Nevertheless, that is a great project, and Operation Best Wishes will be in Hampton Roads over the next two days. If you want more information about that, just log on to our website and click on News Links, then on Operation Best Wishes. From KHON 2 News, this is Hawaii at 5 with Leslie Wilcox and Ron Mizutani. Well, families of a military personnel station overseas have the chance to send a 10-minute video greeting to their loved ones thanks to the nation's credit unions. It's called Operation Best Wishes, and Kirk Matthews has the story. As video studios go, this one is fairly small, but it's big enough to include the Leon family, and that's what's important. They're recording a video that will be sent by Internet to Joanna's husband serving in the Middle East. Hi Lenny, here's Maddie, little Lenny, and myself, and the baby. We're just kind of here to wish you um, the best holiday, and that we love you and we miss you. Joanna's husband can log on to the website Operation Best Wishes anytime he wants and see the video as often as he wants. Dad gets to see the kids. They have pictures of him at home. Oh, very important. They need to see Daddy, and we talk about him all the time. We made videos for him before he left, so they see him on a daily basis before they go to bed. The Windward Community Federal Credit Union is one of many across the country volunteering time and resources for this project. It's very satisfying. Yeah, if, if we can bring a smile to someone that's in Iraq or Afghanistan by allowing them to see their family anytime they want to on the internet. We're, we're so proud to be part of that. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. We want to say that we love and miss you very much. Thank you for everything you've done. Jessica Burns and sons Drew and Dakota were among those taking advantage of this opportunity. It was fun. I liked it. What'd you say? I said about uh, I was doing good in football and stuff. Military families interested in sending a message can go to OperationBestWishes.com for more information. It was a nice opportunity for me, um, especially with the kids, to be able to um, let our husband see, you know, my husband see us and be able to say a few words to him and tell him that we love and miss him. Kirk Matthews, KHON2 News. Priceless. The KUSI News at 10 is live. Deployed military personnel will be getting special holiday wishes from their families back home this holiday season. Thanks to a program organized by credit unions serving the military all over the world. That program made a stop at Camp Pedlin today. KUSI's Doug Hurley is in the newsroom with more. Doug. Hey, now, and this happens every year. We're into the holiday season now, and this is the time of year that's especially hard on deployed troops and the families back home. Well, Operation Best Wishes will help to soften that blow quite a bit for everyone. Leanne Zakruski's husband has been in the Marine Corps for 18 years, so she knows all about deployments. She also knows that her husband misses her and their twin daughters more than anything when he's gone, just like they miss him. 
So, when Gunnery Sergeant David Zakruski goes on the Internet next time, here's what he'll be able to see. This is a surprise for you. You didn't know that we were going to do this, and uh, they were able to fit us in here. So this is where you can see us, and not just hear our voices. Say hi to Daddy. Phone calls are nice and all that, but this is one of those cases where a picture is worth 10 million words. My daughter drew a picture of uh, herself and her daddy, and both pictures have uh, tears in the eyes of the, of the daddy drawing and the, and the daughter drawing. And for him to be able to see that picture and then see her smiling and talking to him on camera. All the tapes shot here will be on the Internet. It's the brainchild of military credit unions worldwide. They've been doing this for three years now around the holiday season. And unlike the satellite link-ups where the deployed Marines can talk to their families once and then it's gone, these messages will be available for repeat performances. It'll be archived for six months. So pretty much the entire time that they're deployed, they can continue to visit those messages from their family. It's very much the modern-day equivalent of wars past when deployed military people carried letters from home with them and reread them time and time again until they literally fell apart from age. Daddy, we love you very much, and we're very proud of you. Think Gunny Zakruski will access that message more than a few times in the coming months? You can bet on it. Operation Best Wishes originated right here in Southern California three years ago. This year, the camera crews have crisscrossed the U.S. all the way from New York and New Jersey in the east to Hawaii in the west. Doug Curley, KUSI News. Now, first for local news, Como 4 News. Letters from the home front gone high tech. Several lucky families at Fort Lewis got a chance to record a 10-minute greeting to soldiers in Iraq. It's all thanks to Operation Best Wishes, which provided the cameras and the time on a high-speed webcast channel. Live from the Main Street Studios, this is 2 News at 4.30 on KJAZZ 14. Camera. Uh -huh. Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Papa. See, I'm doing good. That was an online video valentine that a Utah family sent overseas this morning. That's right. Operation Best Wishes is going on right now, allowing Utahns the chance to send their loved ones to the or loved notes to those enlisted. America First Credit Union and West Corps are recording video-based webcasts for the public. This gives soldiers the chance to see and hear their families live. And we're hoping that this will be a little closer tie than just a letter. We send a lot of letters and packages, but this is something special. We're proud of you. Anyone wanting to send wishes to someone serving overseas can do so until 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at the America First Credit Union in Riverdale. For more information on this, you can link to those programs, websites. Just go to KUTV.com and click on two news links. That's where that stuff is found. That's pretty cool.